So I frequently get asked how I make my videos. So I thought I would make a little video about some of the tools that I use and the things that I found most useful. So I work within OneNote um, quite a bit and I use that. Um, I've got a touch screen, so it's helpful when I'm wanting to do things I can write on and, and talk over while I'm writing it. And the tool that I use to screencast is called Screencast-O-Matic. Now I've taken some screenshots of what that looks like as I go because I can't screencast from the I can't show you what it looks like from the screencasting side of things, but I can take some screenshots and share that with you. So here I've got um, a, a OneNote page set up where I'm planning to put some answers to these questions for my students and talk over them as I go. So I've got that set up in the background. And a little tip is to um, close anything else that you might have running your background apps, just shut them down. You don't want to accidentally bring up something that you didn't intend to in the middle of a video. Um, if you did, it's actually not too much of a problem. You can go back and uh, re-record sections. But anyway, let's just get on to Screencast-O-Matic. So this is available free uh, from this website up here. Um, and I always just use the free recorder that has done enough for me so far. So you click on Launch Free Recorder, and then it brings you up with this um, uh, box of options down here. So you can record your screen, you can record from your webcam, or you can select to be doing picture in picture, which it does both. So it, it down here in the, in the corner would give a little um, video of yourself while you're doing it. Um, I prefer not to do that. Uh, you have a maximum time on the free one of 15 minutes, which I found to be plenty. If you're making videos for students, you should be aiming for five minutes and under. Um, you can choose to do different sizes of screen. So right now what I'm currently doing is uh, using this on a full screen mode, but I could reduce it down to just being part of a screen and you can make it absolutely any size you want um, as long as you don't exceed the size of whatever screen you're working on. And then you check this narration tab to make sure that the microphone that you've got connected is working. So if it's a microphone built into your device, uh, you just want to start talking. Those green bars will kind of move up and down. It will show you that that um, audio is being picked up. Um, the computer audio on the free version, it will not record any sound coming through your computer. If you want to record yourself speaking over it and sound that comes from the computer, you'd have to buy the um, paid for version. So you check all of those um, settings are exactly how you want and then you click on the record button. So once that starts, it looks like this. So it gives you this recording pane. So this one I've changed to not be full screen. So anything else here, that's not going to get recorded. Only what happens inside of the screen is going to be recorded on this particular one. So we have this record button down here that um, it gives you a countdown. It goes three, two, one, and then you start um, your recording. So it will do if anything that you do inside of that recording pane will get recorded as your video. Once it's started recording, you will have the options to pause and restart. So I do that if I want to, you know, flick between different screens, you can hit pause and then go um, find something or maybe what you're writing is taking too long. So you pause it, put the writing in and then restart your recording. You'll see on this example, I've got a, a little red dotty line here. That's where I've previously stopped um, the video and paused it and then restarted. So it automatically splits your video up into those chunks um, where you've taken those pauses. What that means is just next to it here, you can go back to any of those stop points and you can watch it back and see how it went. You can go back and re-record segments if you made a mistake or you think you didn't do a particularly good job of that bit. You can just go back to any marker that you want and then um, it's called, it calls it truncating it. So it'll say, do you want to truncate from here and re-record that section? And you click confirm and away you go. And then once you're done, you click on the done button just here. So when that video is finished, and I didn't take a screenshot of this bit, I didn't think to, um, it gives you a pop-up window that um, says, what do you want to do with this video now? Most of the time, you'll probably want to save that to file. There are options that you can send it straight to YouTube if you already have that um, set up, but it's not necessary. You can save to file and then drop it into YouTube later if you want to. 
um, or it gives you the mp4 file that's available for you to share however you want to do that so you might be dropping it into teams or some kind of shared platform um, that you can easily put that video out there as an mp4 and then it can be watched by anyone so i really love this tool it's very simple to use and it means i can do things like write on um, the window as i'm doing it just doing what what we would normally do in OneNote, but with the capacity to screen record it. And then um, it gives you that flexibility to do whatever you want to do with it uh, in a very simple way and make a very quick and easy video that you can share with others. And one last point that I just remembered looking back at um, some of the playback is you might have noticed that my cursor is being followed and highlighted without me drawing. So I can do things like talk about this graph and say hey just look at this bit here where we've got point q marked on the graph and it's highlighting my cursor that's one of the options when you've clicked done um, when you save to file there's um, some selections there of of what it is that you're going to save it as what you're going to call it and there's one that says highlight cursor and i would recommend putting that in it allows you to move your mouse around um, or your pen or whatever you're using and it will highlight where that is on the page so that you can talk about some specifics um, as part of your video.